Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited about because obviously you can probably read from the title. I'm doing hairstyles that you can do with short to medium length hair with baseball caps. And I'm very excited because I have always loved baseball caps like ever since I was small. And I remember two to three years ago I went to Hawaii and I really wanted this baseball cap that said Maui on it. And everyone thought it was stupid. They're like, you don't need it. I was like, I like baseball caps. And now they're in. I like to think that I predicted the future. But I didn't. I've just always really liked them so I'm very happy that they're in but when I cut my hair short-ish my hair used to be like down to my belly button and so when I cut my hair I was like crap how am I going to do this I'm used to baseball caps with long hair so I came up with three really really quick super simple and easy hairstyles to do when you have short hair and if you're wearing a baseball cap it doesn't really matter what the top of your head looks like because it's gonna be covered with a hat so if you have short to medium length hair I hope this is helpful for you and I'm going to quit black now and just get into the hairstyles. So the first hairstyle are just these messy, loose, beachy waves. Really simple, quick, and easy to do. I always start off by putting my hair up in a half up, half down bun, and then I'm gonna take my Hot Tools one inch curling iron and really just quickly run it through my hair. I don't curl too tight. I try to leave space between the hair wrapping around the barrel, if that makes sense. You can see right there. Just so that the curls aren't too tight and it leaves them a bit more loose. I'll run through curling most of the strands away from my face. Every once in a while I'll curl a few towards my face to kind of give my hair a bit of texture so that the curls don't all clump together. And that's how the curls should turn out when you don't curl the strands too tightly on the barrel. Also by not curling the ends of the hair at all. And repeat on the other side of course and then I curl the ones I might have missed in the back. Now taking my Whey hairspray, is that how you say it? I'm just misting it onto the bottom layers and then taking my top bun out. I like to tie up the bottom layers just so that I'm not recurling anything and then repeat on top. Curl away, 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 and then a couple towards your face. Now for the bangs, I don't do much, especially since it's just going under a cap. I just basically curl it like the rest. Now after I've done both sides, I'm just going to take my hairspray and mist it over the top and hopefully get some on my actual hair, oh my gosh. And then I'm going to take this texturizing spray and just mist it over the top. I didn't focus too much on the top of my head with the curls and the misting like I usually do because of the hat. Then add the hat and that's it. Super easy and the curls will stay put and texturized all day long. Now this one is just a super simple little bun but I think it's really cute under a hat. So first I just take my hair back and using the hair tie I will just gather up the hair. Instead of pulling it all the way through, I'll leave it all bunched up and then wrap the band around it again. I don't know quite how to explain it, but the thing I really love about this is that it can be super messy. Then I'll just pull out some strands at the front, pull out some of the hair in the back, and then put the cap on. From there, I kind of pull more out and then I can kind of see which pieces might need more curling. If you want the strands curled, then you can just take the hat off, lightly curl the front pieces, and you're good to go. Super quick and easy to do for when you just need to run out the door. This last one is my favorite, and I think it looks super cute under a hat. It's just these messy little side braids. So first from the back of my head, I'm going to split it into two sides. And then taking three big sections of hair, I'm going to take the front strand and pull it back, then take the back strand and pull it forward. Hopefully I'm explaining this right. Then the middle strand back, front forward, back to back, middle, front, back, middle, front, back, etc. <laughs> then taking a hair tie, I'm just going to secure the ends so that they don't fall out. Don't worry if little pieces start sticking out, you can redo it or you can just embrace the messiness of the braids. Then I like to pull out the braids so it looks a bit more full and messy and then of course do it to the other side and then pull out some of the front strands. I like to curl them just like with the low bun, just really quickly and loosely.
and then just add the hat. From there, I like to pull at the back of my hair to make sure it's puffier, and that's pretty much it. Super simple and easy to do, and probably my favorite out of the three. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that if you have short to medium length hair like I do that you found this helpful. I know some people have shorter hair and it might be harder to do the braids, but I've had friends before that had shorter hair than I did and they were able to do cute little piggy tails and little braids, so I'm sure you will be able to do it. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. But yeah, thank you so much. If you're subscribed and you've liked and all that stuff, thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot and I will see you next week for my next video. Bye!